Jordan. All right, Sharice is back. Sorry about that, guys. about that I wasn't connected to Wi-Fi and somebody mentioned the video was cutting in and out and then I connected to Wi-Fi and it lost connection completely so I don't want that to happen again all we did was straps in the last round hi Susie we're back hey Ashley So I'm still just um, adding the vinyl overlays that I made up to this bag. cute it's gonna be a good one all right we're back I haven't done anything according to the pattern yet <laughs> Emma that's awesome I'll try and narrate as such <laughs> and now we add the vinyl edges awkwardly long. Mine might have been cut a little off, by the way. Narwhals! Um, I think it's just whales. Um, dolphins. Two, yeah, they're totally cute. Totally cute. Oh no, Ashley! Yeah, I don't see any sharks. I think there's just whales. But it's whaley cute. <laughs> okay, I promise I won't do that again. Okay, all of my little vinyl pieces are on. And this was an edit that I made. It's not part of the pattern. <sighs> Thanks for the pity laugh, guys. Appreciate it. So, <laughs> grown dad joke. <laughs> Thanks for not pity laughing at me, Kylie. I appreciate it. Whatever. Okay. Um, here is the pocket piece vinyl overlay. I just traced it out. Oh, what's happening there? You are so cute. What? Oh. Get out of here. Oh. Um, yeah, gotta have this. So, I'm going to use spray adhesive on the back of this. Um, I'm just using Web Bond Mettler. This is good for machine embroidery, so it shouldn't clog up your sewing machine too bad. Just kind of spraying over the trash can, but it's like getting on the carpet, so whatever. Okay. Let's see. Center the pocket trim over the rectangle hole, wrong side down, and carefully glue base in place. Seems wrong. The web bond goes away. 
Um, I'm trying not to like read all of the directions out loud because I did read that like that's a big no-no if you're doing a pattern that isn't free or your own and you're doing it live public publicly so don't look. <laughs> oh this is gonna be so flippin cute. Um, center the pocket trim. Carefully glue based. I have done that. Make sure it is straight and center and top stitch along the outer edges. Okay, that's not centered quite well. I don't think it's a big deal. That's good. Um, I bought it at Hancock. It was like an item of the an item of the month one time. And one of my coworkers was like, here, just take it home and try it because we're supposed to recommend this to people. You can't really recommend it if you've never used it. Um, so I used it and then I became addicted. Right now my stitch length is set to four and a half. I'm top stitching just the outer edge of the pocket trim. Um, just an eighth of an inch away. I'm following like the inside edge of my walking foot. And usually I leave my needle in the fabric, um, but like when I lift up my foot, but I want to be very careful to make sure that the edge of this looks pretty. So, um, just go slow and careful. Sometimes I like to back stitch at the corners, but I'm not at this time. Hopefully you guys can see over my arm. I just realized, I'm so sorry. Love the way this looks. No, I don't lose the feed. Have you guys lost me? Some of you are saying you can't see me. Um, okay, good. Um, I don't really like the look of no vinyl on the purse itself. I don't know. I just thought it would be really, really cute on the sides. Um, one of the first ones I made, I had like a little wavy panel, like the Charlotte. I like enlarged it and made it fit and it looked really cute. Whew. Okay. Good. Just checking. It's their problem, not ours. Okay. Center the zipper, use scotch tape. Do not use glue, flip over and make sure the zipper is centered. Okay. Um, I have this really pretty cream colored zipper. Oh man. That I think goes really nicely but now I'm second guessing it. It's glitching. Oh, Oops, sorry. I think I'm just gonna have to use a little white zipper. Um, I need better zipper storage. Um, never mind. I'm just gonna use the cream zipper. I'm using a white zipper along the top, so I really hate to like mismatch zippers. But oh well.
Could have used a longer zipper, actually. Oh well. Um. So I like to see the end of the zipper. So I'm gonna sew starting there. That's okay. Um, they are whales and dolphins. I don't think they're... Oh, there is a shark. I'm an idiot. Yes, whales, dolphins, sharks. No norwals, though. We have ruled out there are no norwals. Oh, my stitching came out. I backstitched. Not cool. Not cool. You want to leave your um, zipper tape quite wide. You don't want to, because um, you're attaching the pocket to that. You want to bring your zipper pull in before sewing over that opening. <laughs> What's the point of the zipper if you can't open it? Okay. And this um, zipper is long enough that I'm not going to get through the teeth. And it isn't a metal zipper, so I'm not worried about my needle breaking. I'm going to go over that stitching just one more time. Okay. Now I can use my little snips. 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 Cut these. Um, I use iBooks, yes, but I know there's an app that you can download and like write on, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so there's my zipper added. This will be my second Lola, so I haven't made many. <laughs> I'm just kind of reading the directions as we go. Um, from what I understand... We sew this to the zipper. Is that right? Thanks, Erica. Oh, I see what's wrong. Okay. So, apparently, I guess it's not really apparently, that's what the pattern says. You fold this up, 
and sew this to the top edge of your zipper. Oh, Linda, I do this for a living. I love sewing. Oh, bye, Hillary. Yeah, Cindy, that's awesome. I've thought about getting it, but I hear it costs money, and I just hate spending money. I'm so cheap. <laughs> just kidding. Um, how do you put the patterns in iBooks? When you open it in Safari, it should say for like a quick second, open in iBooks, and it'll open it in iBooks, and then it saves it there. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this. So it's smart to use a large zipper tape because I can't imagine doing this with a smaller, an all-purpose zipper. I'm going slow. And I think the first time I made this I actually did it wrong. I did it like a normal zippered pocket so it was messed up anyway. So this is my first time making it the correct way. Okay, there's that. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Take the pain away. Um. Then you do it to the other edge. This is weird. I don't like this. It's connected to the the top of the zipper tape and the bottom of the zipper tape. Um, I think I'm gonna cut away some of this excess foam. This might be a bad idea, but I don't like the way it's puckering out. Okay, yeah, that helped a little bit. I'm gonna do that. So. Oh, awesome. So there's this like large chunk of foam. I'm just cutting away along that stitching. So that way it doesn't pucker out so awkwardly. Um, and then what you do is you iron that You're gonna fold this over and stitch down along here. I hate sewing when I'm sick. Especially if it's something new. Okay. And then I, I doubled back and forth over that zipper. Because I don't want my pull to come out in any way. I don't know, I'm paranoid sometimes. Okay. So that is our outer bird pocket ready to go check it out it's pretty little kind of useless <laughs> but fancy and this is a handbag zipper um, not an all-purpose zipper and I didn't use a metal zipper so that's it for that and then it says to work on handles I'm doing my handles um, 
quite a bit differently. It's kind of going to be, oh my god, that's tiny. It's so tiny. Like, it's only five inches. So here's a chapstick in comparison to that little tiny box. Like, I'm not sure if it's deep enough for my phone even. Unless your phone just kind of like sticks out. But what you can do is you can fold this piece in half if you want to make yours, <laughs> right? A little girl's exactly. Um, to make this longer, you can just fold it in half and then add an inch or something. Um, so that's something you can do with this pattern piece. Um, what I did, these are going to be my handle connectors. Um, I just kind of traced over that opening and added an inch or so. And I'm just going to sew along the edge of each one. I made a total of six because I would like to try and add um, a little crossbody strap at the side, at the top side corner thing. I'm going to try and rivet it on. So I'm just going to sew around each one of these kind of like on the Brooklyn handbag and then I'm going to cut out the excess because it makes sense or it doesn't make sense to cut out a bunch the same pieces and try and line them up. And I could just sew around each one of these and cut out the excess. Um, I thought about putting the connectors on without sewing them up, but it wouldn't work. Okay, so that's a bit wider than I want it to be. Yeah, that won't work. That is one inch. Oh, that was three-fourths inch. So that's still... Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this, so bear with me. I'm going to come in a little bit. definitely a crossbody person and if it can be both that's even better okay so this one's not gonna be the prettiest but it'll work let's see if that works a little better yeah There we go. So I'm folding it over about an inch. Oh, let me add a clip. So that's what my connector is going to look like. I'll just do that with all of them really quick. So that makes it a little bit easier. And then it's much stronger because it's double sided. So I'm using one inch handle connectors. Making a total of four. Well, I guess there'll be a few more. 
Um, I think I cut these to like all different sizes, so to make sure they're the same, I'm literally just gonna like line them up against each other. I'm gonna try and sew them on, but that might be a little small for my machine to be able to handle, so I might just rivet it. I'm gonna try again. So I'm coming in about a fourth of an inch. Following along the curve and just trimming down the excess. And you wanna make sure it's like one nice motion because the vinyl will show where you stopped and started your scissors. Um, so you wanna make sure they're nice and smooth. And if there's one side that looks better than the other stitching wise, make sure you fold it backwards and whatnot. Okay, like that. So I figure this will be a little, a cute little connector for it. And I'll use the pattern piece to lay them on there where they're supposed to go. Susie. I thought it would be. It just crossed my mind. It's fun designing. I should be able to sew these on. Oh, but maybe I don't want to because that shape I already sewed over it. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I think I might use two rivets. To attach them. Okay, so these are Yeah, just rivet it. <laughs> when in doubt, just use rivets. Yeah, the first time I made Lola, I thought that the strap size suggested was just a little too thick. Um, I didn't really like that about it. It took me several months to sell the Lola I made, and it was really cute Star Trek fabric with silver vinyl. I thought it was adorable, but I guess others didn't. Or maybe they did, but didn't think it was worth the price. <laughs> rivet, rivet. <laughs> Pivot. Pivot and rivet. Take a drink, Kylie. Mm -hmm. Wish that I had like a scissor hand. Instead of wondering where I've left my scissors. <laughs> uh, Lauren scissor hands. That'll work. Okay. So that was six of them, which means I cut and traced um, six of the outside shape, and then I just laid it onto a piece of vinyl. Or that was a little bigger because there's no sense in cutting out. 
12 of the same exact size and lay them on top of each other just right and then trimming the excess it's like no that's not what you need to be doing okay handle connectors ready to go what's next now it wants me to add the handles I can do that so here's my pattern piece that shows me where to place the handles. I'm going to use double sided tape to keep it in place. You do have a silhouette for that too. Yeah, I know, but it wasn't an actual piece and if I had a room set up that was easier to like have everything accessible all at once, maybe I would, but like the silhouettes in my kitchen and my sewing machine's upstairs and I cut in the living room. It's a mess. Freaking mess. It's a crafting house. <laughs> yeah, there's just no point in cutting all 12. It doesn't make sense. Work smart, not hard. Come on, Laura. Get with it. JK. Oh, these are so cute. I'm so excited. Sorry. <laughs> I say that now, and by the end of it, I'm going to be like, ah, this looks terrible. Oh, we found a house we really like today. Um, it's just priced way too high for what it is. So we're going to go and look with his dad again and see if maybe they'll take a lot less. We can live in it. <laughs> I don't know. I just wish there was the perfect house, but there isn't. Maybe I'm just too picky. Yeah, I wish. I can't even get my husband to move like 30 minutes away from where we live now. He's like, no, I don't want you to no. know. What can you do? I would honestly live anywhere, as long as my sewing machine was there. Although I would miss my friends. But I guess you make new ones, right? No, I don't know. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Kylie, yuck. Yeah, I want to buy a lot of space for cheap. <laughs> CJ's dad likes to say, I want champagne on a beer budget. I'm like, yes, but I can afford champagne and get, like, I don't know. I get what I want. <laughs> I'm a spoiled brat. Luckily, I have amazing friends who find houses for me that are a major help. I'm very lucky. Okay, I'm going to use that for crossbody because it was the first one and it's not pretty. But all these other ones are so pretty. I'll use this for crossbody too. Don't settle. Exactly, Erica. You've got it. His job isn't... Right now it's like 40 minutes from where we live. Um, so like, we could live closer to where he works. I'm fine with that. Okay, that was too big of a piece of tape. I'll cut smaller. You don't want to tape too far up to where you can't sew or rivet because then it just looks junky and sticky. Um, and I know that because I've done it to my own and after a while it gets gross. Oh, Christy, 12 months. That's awful. We're on, like, month three, and I'm just so ready to go. Ooh. Kylie, that, that is good and bad. That's a double-edged sword right there. I don't even want to think about being here for another 12 months. I've, like, given up on trying to organize anything because it's like, we're just going to move. We already have someone who's going to move in when we move out. 
which is half the battle, right? Right? Okay. So I'm super precise with my handle placement. Not. And I just kind of lay it underneath here and stick it down. Sorry if you guys think I'm crazy. <laughs> this flat. Um, and I do readjust if I see that it's not quite where I wanted it. And I can lower it a little bit so that it lines up with this other one. So there's that. Thumbs up. What do you guys think? I'm going to add two rivets there and there. <laughs> we are all a little crazy. Yay, thanks for the thumbs up. I copied you doing that with NCW, cutting the square from the Peltex. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, cutting the square for it. So that you just have to like trace where it goes. No big deal. Um, I'm going to use 9mm rivets because that's what I love. Um, I think it would be cool to do like a nine millimeter and a seven millimeter, but I don't trust that a seven millimeter can go through all of it without looking too um, like squished. I don't want that squished look. Oh, it's going to be so cute. Imagine that little handle on it. Eep. Hubby wants to rent this house, ours, and out and buy another. I just want more room. We bought this house three kids ago. Oh, man. Still measure the Emily. Yeah, it works. They're so cute. Okay, we're gonna go over to the riveting station. Sorry, my hand is in the way. Hi! See, I put makeup on. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Dolphins, sharks, and whales. Um, yes, they're in the um, pattern. It shows um, the instructions to sew it if you don't have the rivets. I wonder if I should add rivets there. It might be too hard to center. Thanks, Ashley. Brittany and I like ran to a pop-up today and got it. It's like really, really slinky material. And I added a belt and I'm gonna live in it forever. Because it's so comfortable. Okay, so I need a total of eight rivets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, thanks, Kelly. Ashley, I really, really, really like that house you sent us. Um, I'll have to talk CJ into going down there to take a look at it. Or maybe you and I can just go. <laughs> maybe you and I will just look together. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I never showed you guys the finished Blanche with the birds on it. And then I made this really cute zipper pull. Look, I'm so proud of it. I just traced the bird. Ca -ca. Anyway, I just, I got really excited. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's add these rivets, shall we? Um, so if you 
aren't good at eyeballing where they should go, you can add like a little um, pen mark. Oh no. Um, this is a rivet press that also does snaps. Um, it comes with a bunch of different dies. This is from Gold Star. Hey, Brittany. I had to put it on. I love it. Okay, anyway. Um, so right now I have the hole punch die in. Yeah, the square footage is... Thanks, me too. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, you can add little pen marks of where they should go, but I've gotten pretty good at just eyeballing it, so hopefully I don't shoot myself in the foot by saying that. Like, oh, I can eyeball it. Oh, and it takes a lot of pressure to make the holes through all those layers. Um, I put the male part in the bottom and then I put the cap on top of it it's just it's easier for me and then it usually just clips in so there's that um, and then I'm gonna add one just right down there Ooh, don't do that These rivets, I don't know, right now I've got like just bags full of pieces. Sometimes I order from Purse Supply Depot because that's where I'm getting them. And if I'm ordering something from Gold Star, I add them to my cart. I'm honestly running low and I might try some from eBay. I don't know. Okay, let's try this again. Um, and you want to make sure that you get over or go over that folded part. It's very important that you cover that completely. So keep that in mind when you're placing your rivet. Oh, yes, Purse Supply has rivets. Pretty awesome. Okay, that one's not perfectly centered, but I am human, right? I know, right? But it totally is. It has like this really weird tip that goes through it. I don't think it's, there you go. Right there. And then the top piece, you can see has a hole with all the little pieces of that I've cut through and then that's where it uh, collects that little piece. Yeah, it just takes a lot of pressure, right mine? <laughs> If you knew where this was sitting, you would laugh at me. You'd be like, oh, really? That's where you rivet? Hmm. I'd be like, yes, unfortunately. On an ottoman upside down. During your rivet explanation, you just said I put the male part in the bottom. Yep, sure did. It's the only time that happens. Oh, poor pink ottoman. <laughs> okay. Rivets, looking fancy. Um, yeah, this is gonna look awesome. Thanks for that, Bill. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh sorry should I have yelled that thanks for that Bill you know how much you guys love people who yell on live videos okay Yeah, when I go to set these, I'll show you guys the piece that I use. I've I've tried the one with like 
that shaft piece on it and it just doesn't work for me. <laughs> I thought he would like that. <laughs> Did I miss it? Uh, I'm using 9mm. No, I haven't shown it just yet. These are 9mm rivets. This is a 2mm um, hole punch set. And that works for a lot of things. Yeah, I don't know why it's so different though. I have the one you guys have, but then I was sent a different one and I don't know why. I don't remember when. It was a lot of tears the first time I ordered this because I ordered the wrong stuff. I didn't actually get the press. Okay. Hi, Grace. I've been missing you. Calm down, Susie. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. You guys are cracking me up. Okay. Um, sometimes the caps don't click. And I don't think that compromises the hold, though. I'm tempted to add rivets. Oh. Here and here. What do you guys think? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. It would kind of... Yes, add the rivets there too. Yeah. Yeah, they just look really, really fancy. Having too much fun, have you? Okay, two more rivets. Let's just go rivet crazy. Ugh. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should go through, yeah, I'm gonna go through the lining fabric cause then it'll like reinforce that, I think. Okay, let me center this. Mm. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> rivet, rivet. Losers. And then I force the male part through the bottom. <laughs> and then add the female part on top. It usually clicks into place. You guys are dirty. Center that. Looks pretty good. Mm. Did you take a shot? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are so funny. And a little ridiculous. And I love it. Oh, oh. There we go. Yep, good move. Are those straight? Yeah, they're straight. My caps are just a little crooked at the moment. Okay, so switching. Drum roll, please, for uh, Susie. Cause she's a little too excited and needs to calm down. <laughs> um, this is the 9mm die. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when I use this, I don't get any kind of, um, crease because there's dimples that, um, hold the rivet in place. I have heard that you can use smaller rivets in the larger dies, but I did that the other day and it kind of, um, adds a little, uh, it messes it up because it doesn't keep it straight. Um. Oh, I just need to redo it completely. I didn't notice that. But it doesn't put your cap on straight, and then it kind of dents the top. I'm going to remove that. Probably shouldn't do it with my teeth. Dang it! 
Dang it. I'll do that later. Um, but that's why I don't use the larger um, die for the smaller rivet. But a 7mm rivet really isn't big enough to go through vinyl handles, in my opinion. Um, I'll show you the difference. So this is the 7mm. Never use teeth in the, on the male part. Fair point. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so here's the 7mm. It's really small. And then here's the 9mm. You guys probably can't see that. So 9mm, 7mm. The reverse camera is really tripping me up. Oh, uh, okay, I tried. Um, I know I posted a photo one time. I don't know where my <sighs> comparison piece went. Um, 8mm should be fine too. Now I'm determined to get this. Whatever, I'll break my nails later. Okay, so, screw this in the top, set that in the bottom, and there's a little screw on the side to adjust. Oh, yeah, Chicago screws work too. I've honestly never tried them. I like rivets. 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 Y'all gonna get drunk. Oh, because you don't have a press. Yeah, that, that would change my mind too. Okay, so I, um put the bottom piece in the bottom obviously and you can kind of wiggle it to make sure it's straight hold on to the side and then slowly lower the top the yellow piece is gonna like grab a hold of the top piece and then you press and you want to make sure that nothing is crooked that's why I kind of wiggle it around go slow to the top and it'll catch and hold it on straight and then you push. So that set our rivets. And it's going to hold forever and ever. So put the bottom part in. Make sure it doesn't wiggle too much. <laughs> Stop, guys! <laughs> this isn't sexual, it's sewing. They both start with an S, but it's not the same. to grow up getting real dirty <laughs> I don't want to have to rate this like PG-13 <laughs> luckily the cats are asleep so we're not gonna have Ben going away with a thread again okay this is really large so cute. Okay. <laughs> Susie, that's so true. Okay, so there's that panel done, ready to go. Super blingy. There's the back. So I went through the lining panel just because I think it'll hold it in place even more. It doesn't really affect it. <laughs> the red band version of your sewing tutorial. <laughs> okay, so then we repeat with the other side. I love you. <laughs> no, I hate it. Take the, take them out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can go drink yourself to death. Um, the rivet press was 60. Each die is 20, I believe, and then the rivets also cost money. Um, the only hole punch you really need is the 2 millimeter, unless you're doing large grommets, and then you need to 
um, purchased larger ones. I also bought um, the spring snaps and that's a really intricate thing and I have never used it. That was a lot of money that I didn't need to use or waste. If you want to get really fancy you could add rivets all along this but I'm not. I just want to get this thing done and made. Hey Amanda. <laughs> yeah, Kelly. I was like, yeah, I'll use snaps on something. No, never have. Probably never will. Ah, <laughs> oh, back to the chair. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Kylie, it's best to just stick to pivot. What else were the words? Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna fold these down. Um, one of the reasons I added um, hardware, other than it looks amazing, <laughs> is that I want the handle to be able to be folded down. Um, for use as a crossbody. <laughs> you guys would be rivet faced. I'm just clipping it on really quick to see how I like it. I mean, it's nothing I can do if I don't. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I love this vinyl. <laughs> All right, let's move along, shall we? I think next is lining. Uh, pen slip pocket. They want me to make a slip pocket. Oh wait, no, I need to add my nameplate, y'all. Hey, remember that time we didn't sew the binding on a Blanche? <laughs> this would have been like fun. Um, this came with the machine, actually. It says Gold Star. Um, you can order one on Amazon, though. It's like a really... It came in the drawer of my machine. I literally purchased one on Amazon, and then we, like, made this fit better with what I needed. And CJ was like, hey, look, a drawer full of stuff. I was like, okay, cool. Um, this one's for the sale. I've never done a Lola, um... But I think that this one's awesome. Oh, oh double-sided tape, that's right. I don't know if I want to add the nameplate on this side because I feel like a lot is going on. Um, Terry, I get my vinyl from fabric.com. Sometimes I get it at Joann's. This specific vinyl was actually part of, it was at Hancock. And it was like a, um, it was one of their value fabrics, if you can believe it. And it is one of my favorites, and I'm so sad that I didn't buy it all. Um, you know, if I'm being honest, I might have purchased all of that they had. <laughs> okay, I'll put it here. Oh, I still feel like that's a lot for the front. Hey Lauren, been binging on Supernatural. Yes. Did you it, did you know that this machine's name is Dean Winchester? Because that's his name. And then I've got the smaller Juki, and its name is Sam, because it's the little brother. I mean, obviously Sam is taller than Dean. Anyway, that's enough Supernatural talk. I'm going to sew this plate on. I'm going to switch that to four.
Ashley, that would be awesome. Wild cards, Ben and Connor and Supernatural. <laughs> Just past the black and white episode the other day. I like that one. That one's pretty funny. Okay, I'm gonna fold these connectors down. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I might have to try and make like a little shark zipper pull or something. It'll be super fun. Okay, wants me to work on the lining now. So, I am adding a zippered pocket on the inside because we of course don't want to leave an opening in the bag well I guess that's not an of course but I don't I don't want to um, I don't really know what size it said to use for the slip pocket I didn't read completely Should I cut it down? Oh yeah. I need to rewatch Supernatural again. I think I always say that. And I'm always rewatching Supernatural. Because Supernatural is life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I guess I'll use a little bit of this interfacing. Ow. I didn't interface the slip pocket piece that I'm about to. There's something about it. I'm using a thicker canvas for my lining so that I don't have to use interfacing on it. Just a little tip. If you can find something you like, just think about how much interfacing, fusing time you're saving, and how much um, money you save, especially if you need a coupon. Um, using canvas as a lining really gives your bag a lot of stiffness. For all you X-rated lovers. Oh, I've never watched Chuck. <sighs> yeah, Yellow Fever. It's so good. I've been wanting to make a Dean screaming. Two slip pockets. You could just leave an opening in the very bottom. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, Kylie, I would just leave um, a, your bottom in the bag open or maybe even a side panel or something. Okay. So I'm folding it right sides together. I think it's, yeah, leave the bottom open. I honestly don't even know what fabric this is. It's like the 91F or something. Ooh, Kylie, yeah, do that. I love combination pockets. One thing I want to do with the Emily, I saw a Betsy Johnson bag um, where someone... Um, well, I guess it wasn't someone, it was Betsy Johnson. Um, it's like the bag, and then there's like a zippered pocket, literally just sewn to the front of it. If you can see that, like, this is literally one of our zippered pockets, you know, and then they just sew it around the edge. And then it's a slip pocket, and a zippered pocket, and I'm really excited to try one. 
and I just drew a picture on the back of this thing I need to sew up. So they'll get a surprise if they ever take it apart. <laughs> okay, so here's the slip pocket. I'm going to press it and then top stitch. Along here. I guess, I guess it would be, yeah. Oh, Kylie, that's so awesome. Yeah, slip pockets are really cool. Okay, so I'm grabbing one of these exterior pieces. Interior, my bad. And this just gets sewn all the way around. It's trippy how that lines up, so I'm going to use the other side. I wasn't digging that. We're just going to sew a new shape. And you could even add, like, maybe like a card area here. Go nuts with pockets. I like to backstitch a lot to reinforce that. Yeah, and I, I've, I think it'll be neat though. I'm gonna try it, and maybe I can do it with like contrasting fabric or something. Because if people will pay for that on a Betsy Johnson bag, they'll. I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna have some fun. Because if I do the same thing over and over again, I just get. Blech. Oh, so now I'm gonna do a zippered pocket. Sorry. Do right sides together. So I added a center crease and there's another center crease. Sorry. The tripod comes out really wide and then my knees hit it. I'm sorry if it's annoying. Kind of reminds me of some Blair Witch Project stuff. Okay, seven inch pocket. And that one, two, three and a half. One, two, three and a half. Oh no, Charisse has gone blind. bad things about using white thread with white backed fabric is I can't see a freaking thing. Where does it go? Okay, my 
making sure it was right sides together. Sometimes I've done it the wrong way and I'm like, do I redo it? Do I not? I don't know. If you don't cut into those corners enough, it'll pucker. Yeah, Mary Jo, it definitely, definitely will be. It'll stay on the group wall. Maybe if Kylie feels like it, she's gonna get all the video links together. <laughs> just kidding, Kylie. Um, and then we're gonna make it like a pinned post so that people can just refer back to them. I'm hoping to make a YouTube channel you know what, Kelly? This is the second time I've made one, and the first time I made one was probably right when it came out last year. Um, so I really, I can't say for sure. Um, I kind of remember having trouble with, like, the zipper. Um, the top zipper. Oh my goodness, I didn't cut in enough. Where's the corner? Found it. Um, yeah, it was like really weird. Yeah, the top zipper. We make it longer for her to do, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, the hardest part is dealing with all of you people. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe shoving the male part into the bottom. That's the hardest part. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> anyway, putting the zipper in. Try and keep it from getting wonky. Can I have some? What? Can I have some? There's enough for one more bowl downstairs. Okay. I really wanted a pink coop cookie. Thanks. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, Lauren, he said there's enough for one more down there, so if you can make it over here, you can have some brownie and ice cream. Okay. Fold this open. <laughs> well, it's really, it's just the pocket. 
It doesn't matter if it's not super duper duper straight. And then I like to fold that like that. Make sure you leave it open. Hello. This is where you turn the bag. Okay, anyway. So now we add the bottom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to add the bottom to the lining to start. Um, Deanne, I cut out the bottom so that we can turn the bag through the zippered pocket instead of leaving um, an open seam in like the main lining so that people don't see it. Um, and then I folded it back so that when we open it and it's right side out because we pull the whole thing through um, and then we're just going to stitch open that opening and then stick it back in the bottom. Oh man, Lauren, that's terrible. I hope you're able to get an industrial soon. Um, so the instructions say to normally leave um, a hole in the opening down here, um, but I'm not going to do that because we left the zippered pocket open. I'm debating on whether or not to add purse feet, but I'm just I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm gonna leave like that like that. Hopefully I was close to at this point. Oh well. Um, bottom panels. Pin the contrasting bottom panel to the exterior. Repeat to fill the lining. Always add purse feet. All right. This is how many purse feet I have left. So somebody remind me to order some tonight. Because I have five. Five purse feet left. Tell me how that makes sense. So this is um, SF or the um, Peltex fused to vinyl. I use a little bit of water, pour it on top, and put it in my heat press, and uh, done. Okay, Trudy. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Um, need my ruler. This is why I need a smaller ruler. Okay, an inch and a half from all sides, right? That's two inches. There's an inch and a half. This is not straight, what's happening? Here we go. So I'm gonna come in three inches, two inches, one, what? get these on there straight. Here we go. That should work. Yes, there we go. So that's an inch and a half. And that's an inch. Oh. 
Ashley, don't you have enough bags? Come on, girl. Just kidding. Are there ever enough bags? I haven't decided if I'm going to have this be one of the auction bags. Um, because it is animal themed, but I don't know if a uh, vet technician would ever work with sharks or dolphins. <laughs> Not saying it couldn't happen. Uh, Lauren, my dress is LuLaRoe. It's a, it's called a Carly. Yes, the Peltex is fused to vinyl. Um, I saw that a lot of you guys were like, "How do you fuse your Peltex?" And a lot of you just spray adhesive it, but you can fuse it to vinyl. You just need to use water. Like, I literally pour water on the Peltex, or you can use, like, a wet paper towel on top of it, and that should help. Um, the heat press, of course, is amazing. If you have one, it you just put your... I put vinyl down, Peltex on top, something wet, and the iron, and you got to do it for 10 seconds. Thank you, Nikki. You rock. I'm sure that it'll be there. Does anybody have the link to the Amazon that you can get like a hundred of these purse feet for super cheap? I know it takes a few weeks, so maybe maybe I'll order them from somewhere else. Okay, purse feet attached. They look good. They make the noise. Yeah, it totally does. I will admit that there are some vinyls it might not f fuse to, um, but I, I honestly haven't run into them. I don't know. Okay, so this goes on at a half inch seam allowance. It doesn't say to stitch over, but I kind of want to. I'm gonna. I don't see what it'll hurt. <laughs> I'm predictable, I know. I just love the noise. I think I'm like a mental person. She's mental, that one. Whatever works for you guys. Um, I think, yeah, whatever works. I've had mine kind of shift on me if I don't fuse it, so I fuse it. Sounds amazing. <laughs> Bless you. So I want this to be the front of the bag. Oh, look at that. Oh, guys, look. We're almost there. Sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, that's what I want. <laughs> I feel like I've got personal shoppers. This is great. Oh, 
I appreciate it. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, just make sure you put the vinyl face down. Otherwise, yeah, you'll definitely melt it. You don't want to do that. Okay, zipper. Zipper. Did I miss the zipper part? Here we go. Um, no, you missed this zipper part, but that's at the very beginning of this video. Um, make sure that's good and didn't catch. So, like I said, I don't think that the pattern calls for you to top stitch that, um, but I always like the look of it, so I did it. Whatever. Tuck the handle down and out of the way. <laughs> we will shop for you. We'll shop for you. Tuck the handle down and out of the way. So, I didn't attach any handles. Count 10 seconds. Yeah, the important thing is to count one Mississippi, two Mississippi. I used to get very frustrated and um, would cry because my vinyl never fused. And then CJ was like, um, you're not fusing it long enough. So there's your problem. I'd be like, oh, well, okay then. Because I'm impatient. So we got the zipper face down. Um, it doesn't seem to be centered with this, like at all. So let me fix that. down when I just line up my little snips and there's the center I like the soft curve that this bag has it's nice um, I'm digging it Looks a little better. Um, three fourths from each. Fold the ends of the zipper tape so the trail's at the end. Pin it and use the zipper foot. So I'm adding the zipper. And you shouldn't be sewing through the foam just yet. sides together. This might be a little awkward. I don't think I was supposed to sew that lining piece on just yet, just so you know. Yep, it is magnetic. Um, otherwise this light, or this machine has no light. Which is sometimes why I can't remember if I've left it on or not. Which is not a good thing. 
Do you guys know if it's bad to leave this machine on and not in use? I know I should be the machine expert, but I am not. Okay. That lines up nicely. Okay, so then you want to follow your stitching. Just come in a little bit. It says, the zipper will be sandwiched foot so the wrong side of the exterior main panel is up, starting half inch from the side edge, so at a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Okay. I have those lights on my industrial machines. <gasps> Ooh. That's scary. <laughs> That'd be funny. My one problem with this um, pattern is that you don't top stitch the zipper in place. Um, and I don't personally like the way that looks. And I, th I think I'm gonna top stitch it anyway, um, kind of like how you top stitch the freesia foldover, and you don't really go across the whole top, just where the zipper is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test it and see how that works. Um, so I'm just gonna top stitch along the zipper. I don't know. I think that might be one of my problems. It just looks like. It's unfinished. And I would top stitch through just the front, but because of that curve, I'm not sure that I can. Well, maybe I can. That's why I plug my light into the wall. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Linda, I might have to try that. I'll have to look. That would be amazing. I'm sure that there is, and I just don't know. Okay, so I'm going to try and top stitch this with the lining pushed out of the way, starting half an inch from the side. This is not in the instructions, but I'm going to try it. Make sure my zipper tape is facing the right way. Probably read ahead, huh? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Anne. It is. So I won't do that. <laughs> we will find out. Okay. Didn't happen. Pretend that didn't happen. So it's pressed. Either that or I think I had trouble top stitching because the giant handles were in the way. Okay, so... Yeah, I get it now. I get why you don't stitch those together. Maybe I'll seam rip it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna seam rip it. I'm not the greatest at following instructions, you guys.
right? Should I have not sewn that together either? Uh-oh. Oops. Oh well, we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. No biggie. So you don't sew the bottoms to both sides, just the one at this point. So forget that happened. <laughs> Anne's probably like this idiot trying to make a bag. Can't even do it right. So sad. Follow the directions. Okay. Repeat. I really just don't like reading the directions. Um, Trudy, you'll be able to save it once it's done being live. We're still live. Oh, well, an hour and a half so far. That's not too bad. We're almost done. away from the zipper. Sew the bottom on again. <coughs> okay. My zipper is unzipped. Halfway, my zipper pocket zipper is unzipped. <coughs> okay, so that's where we're at. Finish assembly. The exterior main panel should be right sides together, and the lining panel should be right side together. Open the main zipper the entire way. Turn the side edges of the exterior main panels right sides together, matching all row edges. Okay, I'm lining up my sides, adding a clip. 
Lining up my sides. And since I added these um, vinyl pieces, I want to make sure they meet up. So I'm clipping. Hi, Lauren. I can read it, Emily. Hi. You like my new Carly? So cute. <laughs> okay. So long of the exterior. The exterior main panels, um, pin the side edges of the exterior main panels, pin the side edges of the lining main panels, main side seal and matching the lining. So it's looking like I don't sew. <laughs> Hardy har, Emily. Hardy har. Um. Mm, perfect. It is Emily of the Emily bag. the match edges of the exterior, making sure that the lining does not get caught when nearing the top edge with the zipper. Start at the bottom edge and exactly when you start the stitching, when you reach the stitching along the top edge, back stitch at start and stop. I don't see how it's an issue if you sew through that whole thing. Does anybody know? Like, why you can't stitch through this? Emily. Okay, well, we're here to follow the directions, so I'm going to follow the directions. It could be what went wrong with my other one, too. Who knows? It's been so long, I really can't remember. Okay. So it says you sew through starting here. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Let's start with the exterior, or the interior. Because my stitching is there. So I didn't sew through that part like it said not to. And I'm going to trim the excess. Mm-hmm. 
box the corners match a raw curved edge. Ooh, look how cute that's gonna be on the edges. Okay, so we're lining the bottom curved edge. Add some clips. Okay, so there's our bottom curved edge lined up. I'll line this one up too. I have not made Stella before. I, I can't think of what she looks like right now. Is that um, the Stella Weekender? That really big one? Did I run out of bobbin? It's okay because I made more, but. No. No, I haven't made that one. I imagine it would be probably like four hours though. I know the Sydney crossbody takes quite some time as well. I think I've made like three or four of those. It's cute without the cargo pockets too. the side curve. I just want to do it from the other side, but it's okay. Guys, we're almost done. I'm really excited. To box, trim the seam allowances, turn the bag right side out. Okay. So, I'm reaching in here. And we're going to turn the bag. I'm a little scared. Shouldn't be scared, but I am. So I'm turning it through the zippered pocket, which I left open. I 
makes things a little easier so nothing rips. Sometimes when you leave your lining open, you rip. It's not a good thing. Alrighty. that little accent. So now we can sew up this hole. And it's already been creased, but sometimes I like to press it again. And then you're just gonna stitch over that opening. Tuck your lining inside the bag. Oh, okay. So it wants me to turn the bag the other way to top stitch. I get it. So turn your bag lining side out. So, lining side out, and I've got my machine set to four and a half, which is good top stitch. I'm going to start at the zipper. And with the handles on, I think this was kind of hard for me. first time I made it. No, I did not have this juki when I made my first one. I just had a simple uh, um, brother machine. It was like the Laura Ashley or something. <laughs> Susie, I'm jealous. I want to be watching Supernatural.
half stitching complete. And then you flip it right back out. there. I don't like the way that looks. Hmm. Okay. There it is, mostly done. I think next time, I might make these side panels a little longer. I don't know, I always like the look of more vinyl on it. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna add my crossbody strap connectors now, and I'm just gonna rivet it through the side. This is where I'm going to add them. It might be a little big, but I think it's still really cute. Let me get my double-sided tape. Kylie, take a drink. I'm going to add rivets through the lining and everything. Too big. Grab my straps. I am, I am. <laughs> you are welcome. I forgot to trim my ends. tell tonight is going to be a good night. I'm going to get a lot of sewing done after this. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Sometimes I look around and I'm like, okay, which looks like the best front? Myself, aren't I? Um, we hit two hours just now. Um, so I got the sewing done in about two hours. But I I can't say that I'm like super finished with the bag just yet because I still want to add a fun zipper pull and stuff like that. These handles are so tiny. Oh, I love it. Oh, I still have to make the crossbody strap too. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. So this is just gonna go right there. Like that. Same with this one. Just gonna line it up. Which is cool because I can cover my top stitching. Oh. 
It does work well. I thought I didn't like the new chair, but then I tried an old one and I hated it, so. I'm gonna get four rivets out. Nobody make any dirty jokes. I'm just gonna go through this side. Trying to get this lined up. <laughs> um, I'm probably just gonna make a bunch of uh, makeup bags tonight. I need to cut out the vinyl still, um, or maybe just zipper pouches to get ready for a sale I'm having February 5th. <laughs> This doesn't like compromise my stitching or anything. <laughs> um, before I end the video, I'll probably make the crossbody strap so you guys can see how it looks on a body. There's my rivet and the crossbody strap connector. Energizer bunny, she does not sleep. Oh, um, yeah, it's my own pattern for the makeup bag. I've thought about releasing it. It's just, um, it's so simple. <laughs> like, I don't know if people really want to pay for that, but I wouldn't mind making a few extra bucks here and there. Um, the New Orleans show was okay. It wasn't our best, but we still had a lot of fun. So I'm glad we went. <laughs> yeah, not at the traditional time. I was for a while, and then I didn't get as much sewing done. Yep, Hillary, we're almost done though. I'm adding the crossbody strap connectors, which are not part of the pattern, but I'm just doing anyway. Oh, that slip pocket's nice, and the crossbody strap. Um, so now I'm gonna set them. Uh, yeah, it was uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, yes, I did rivet through my lining, which will kind of uh, keep it in place. I don't always rivet through the lining, but sometimes I do. Like um, sometimes on the Brooklyn, I like to rivet through the lining. Okay. You guys get to see CJ, who hasn't been here the whole time, but popped in. Here it is on an arm. So that kind of gives it, makes it a little fun on the sides. Hey Brittany, you're back. You get to see the bag all the time. Oh, I love this. 
Okay, let me... Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm gonna bust out this crossbody strap really quick and we will be done. So I'm gonna make the crossbody strap for it really quick. And this is like a thick cotton twill so that I don't have to interface it. And it's like 50 to 60 inches wide so you don't even have to duplicate it. So we'll down the center. miss the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so you fold down the center and you fold the sides in. Yeah, I'll have to put everything in and see how it looks. Ooh, maybe I can use the smaller hardware. Cool. Fold it in half again. Um, I'm really lazy and I might use white thread on this cross body strap. No, I'll change it. It's not a big deal. I don't want to cheapen the look. Uh, this crossbody strap is a um, black cotton twill. I'm going to change the fabric. I'm going to change the thread color. I promise. Oh, the bottom. Black's even right here. It's like, it'll take two seconds. Laura and I would like to. Maybe I'll get it printed out tonight and I'll try one with the leggings fabric. <sighs> Sometime soon. Soon, Boone. Soon. That's terrible. 
Um, this is just a Walmart iron, or, um, Target, it's a Sunbeam. Sunbeam. Yeah, it's awesome on Steam. I've had it since last Christmas, so it hasn't stopped working, and I think it was like $40 iron or something. thread is in. Okay, let's make this crossbody strap. Sorry, we're all crooked. And I'm making it, um, <laughs> yes, I asked for an iron for Christmas. I really wanted one. <laughs> a new one. I had a really old crappy one. Oh, I turned it off. Stitch length is four and a half. What a count. Yeah, that's true. You probably could. Okay. That would be fun. Trim the excess. Um, so this was a three inch piece, three by whatever, how long. So when it's all folded, it's uh, three fourths of an inch. And I just so happen to have three fourths inch slide adjusters from forever ago when I thought I really liked making Ramonas. I don't know what that was about. Fold that under a few times and I could even add rivets if I wanted to. Cool. And sometimes I like to do an X. Or the box stitch I think it's called. building them. Pick up. <laughs> okay. So. Probably should have used a smaller crossbody strap connector, but oh well. 
Um, I've had my Juki since August now, and it's the DU1181. And it did take a while to get used to, but I love it now. Okay. So here is the bag all finished. Okay, I might need to keep this for myself. It's so cute. Let's see if I can get this angled enough to show. It holds all kinds of goodies. Let me put my iPad in it. Yeah, so this is an iPad mini doesn't seem so small. Yeah. Here's an iPad mini in it. And there's a whole bunch of room still. And a slip pocket. Zippered pocket. Zippered pocket. It's so cute. might fit my hairspray. You are hilarious. And then here it is on an arm. Alright guys, that was fun. It didn't take as long as I thought. It might. It's got purse feet. Super cute. Yes, this one has foam interfacing. I used a layer of SF 101, a layer of 809, and then I fuse the foam on with um, uh, um, heat and bond light. Oh, it is super cute. I love it. I might have to make more. Okay, thanks guys. See you later. He says bye.